Hi there, this is Paul Murphy, and today I've got a really cool hack for you for Facebook advertising. Um, when you advertise on Facebook, you get into a bidding war um, with anyone else who's vying for that space on Facebook. And you need a really good relevancy score for your bid price to come down. So if you've built that trust with Facebook, then what Facebook does is it actually says to you, okay, yes, we can see that you're legitimate, you've got all, you've got all these things in place, and one of them specifically I'm gonna show you in a minute. And then when you've done that, you will get your advertising at a lower cost. Um, adver uh, Facebook will favor you above other, other advertisers because a lot of people are just kind of dipping into the space and trying to get advertising and don't really know what they're doing. Now this is kind of controversial, so I'll let you decide whether you think this is a good thing to do or not. Um, but I wanted to point it out and show you, and it's actually totally legitimate with Facebook, you can do this. Um, and what you can do is you can build up your page. Um, now, when you first uh, create a page on Facebook, I won't show you how to do that, because it's fairly easy, you can just go create a page from your profile, and then when you create that page, you'll obviously start with no likes, okay? And unless people know where to find you, it's kind of hard to get people interested in your page. And then when obviously, when you advertise from that page, if people come to your page, they're gonna see that you have no likes. So they don't, you don't really build that social proof with your audience, and also, secondly, your you're not going to be uh, paying a very good price for your ads initially because Facebook knows you're brand new. Um, and, you know, so so it kind of works both ways for you to actually get a few likes. Now, what I do not recommend 100% is that you go and pay uh, for some service to get bots. And there's two reasons for this. One, obviously, that's not real people and you can get your ad account and your Facebook page banned from Facebook, okay? That's the first thing. Um, and actually, on top of that first thing, obviously, it's not it's not legitimate, right? It's not a good way to do business. So you, you wanna try and avoid any sort of like scammy things like that. Um, and also, obviously, if they're not real people, people can actually go and see who's, you know, who's interested in your page and see that they're not real people. So you don't wanna do that. You want real page likes. And two, which is which is even better news, this is the, this is the great part about it, is that you're actually going to be uh, advertising to real people and getting cheaper than if you paid an external service. Now, if we just go into my computer now, I'll actually show you, I just ran a campaign, and bearing in mind it's New Year's Eve yesterday and New Year's Day, so probably not as many people on Facebook, uh, apart from obviously New Year messages and stuff like that, but Facebook's probably not gonna be a good place to advertise right now, especially for commerce. So I did it specifically at this time because I wanted to prove to you how easy this is. So if you have a look at my campaign, um, this is, my I, I set my daily budget at $20, okay? So far I've spent $13.84, so it hasn't actually run a full day yet. And as you can see, my cost per page like, and it says it there, is 0 0.003 cents. So for one cent, I'm getting three page likes. And this is from Facebook and this is real people, okay? So the way you do this, I'm just gonna go and create an ad now. So if we uh, create a fake ad set, for instance, and then I'll show you exactly how this works. So if you've not created ads before, this is where you start, and then you would choose a Facebook page, okay? So for this instance, I'm gonna choose, I'm not actually gonna advertise, obviously I'm just showing you how to do this. Um, and for this instance, I'll just choose a Brighton page that I own, where I live, which is a kind of buy and sell thing. It's kind of a community thing that I do for free. And then your custom audience, you would uh, leave that blank, and then you would advertise. This is really quite simple. You would put in here worldwide. Okay, and then you would advertise that. And I noticed on a video that somebody posted on YouTube that they, if you exclude California, because it's apparently it's really, really expensive to advertise in California. Um, apart from that, you can kind of, you can include everywhere else. So you just advertise to the whole world, okay? Now, the, obviously you're just building social proof here. You're not actually trying to get customers. So the cheaper the advert, the better. And the cheapest demographic to advertise is um, age 13 to 24. The only thing with this, I'll just be a bit careful when you when you do this. Obviously, you're not 
advertising anything that's of any adult nature. I mean, you shouldn't really be advertising anything of any specific adult nature on Facebook anyway, because they'll ban your account. But again, you know, you, you obviously use your common sense here. If your page is going to be putting any content on there that's not suitable for anyone under 18, you've got to make sure that you're choosing over 18 and you'll still get a good rate. It just won't be three cents per, sorry, three clicks per one cent. So, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'm just putting that in as a sort of quick disclaimer. And then what you do is you would, um, your interests. Now on here, you wanna put something that's really general, okay? Now, because it was New Year's Eve, I put Happy New Year. That's all I put, and it got loads of likes. But I've also tried it with this before. If you just put in love as an interest, okay, this will work. And obviously it's gotta be a really, really general with a massive niche. So you just want something really, really, really general. Again, you don't even have to put anything in there at all okay and you want to edit your placements on here so you put in uh you just want the right the right hand column okay because what what facebook will do is it will automatically ah, okay yeah and the other thing we didn't do because we created from this campaign is the when you go to your campaign level you need to select engagement you'll have a selection of uh, lots of different ways you can actually choose but you need to select engagement we skip that bit but that's the first thing when you go to create the ad you need to select engagement then you come to the ad set in fact I'm just going to show you that now very quickly there you go so this is the first bit you come to because I'd already created an ad it skipped to the ad set so you, you select engagement and as you can see on the left hand side here, you've got all of the um, the three stages, if you like. Campaign is um, is always your objective. Your ad set is always your targeting. And then your ad is obviously how you create your advert, which we'll get to in a moment. So that's kind of, that's kind of it, really. And you edit your placements, and it looks as though, for some reason now, it's only putting it in the feed. Uh, They've changed this quite recently. You did have to deselect a lot of things, but it seems to be that when you're doing engagement now, they tend to put it in the feed. Now, on the, I'm on this one. I'm just going to put a dollar because I don't really want to spend uh, any money. I'm going to delete this straight away. But you, again, you can put in what you want. Now, for $13, I've got 5,000 page likes. So if you spend $20, you're probably going to be looking at sort of somewhere between six, seven, 8,000 page likes, maybe more. Um, so that's, you know, again, whatever budget you want, if you want to build a page with some trust, you know, I recommend somewhere like 5,000 page likes is, is perfectly good. Yeah. So then you come to here, it says all mobile devices, um, only connect with Wi-Fi. Again, you're literally just asking for a page like, so you can do that on, um, any, any, uh, network really. That's absolutely fine. And that's it really. And then you'll go, auto. now this bid amount, always leave that automatic. If you try and bid at 0 3 what happens is it's, it starts off slightly higher, but then when it sees that you're getting lots and lots of likes, it actually reduces the price. So you want to leave that as automatic. Um, and I generally recommend automatic for any kind of bidding on Facebook, because when you put in manual, uh, Facebook looks at it slightly differently and it, I mean people do do manual bidding and they swear by it so don't get me wrong I'm not saying that you should never do that what I am saying is is that for this one specifically you need to use automatic and uh, run ads all the time that's absolutely fine high advancement so then you then go into the ad so you press continue now for here you just want a single image okay and for this one you want something that's going to get it's, it, it's kind of clickbaity. So you want something that's going to appeal to everybody. Now for this, all you need to do is go to Pixabay. And these are these are royalty free images. Okay. So on, on Pixabay, you can use these images for advertising on Facebook. Facebook has their own images as well, or they're starting to have their own images as well. And, and also they're having their own royalty free music as well if you want to put music on ads and stuff like that. So Facebook are rolling that out as we go. But on Pixabay, you just put in the word, oh, I love you. Simple as that really. And you've got to be careful again on your image is not going to be too text heavy because Facebook doesn't like that and it will charge you a premium for that. There, so then you would upload your image here. And then you can put something like, 
you, you don't want to be uh, asking them for a like. You want to kind of inspire them to like the page. So I would just put something like, Happy New Year, I love you all. Something like that. And then people are going to go, Ah, oh, Happy New Year, and then like your page. The headline for the right column, um, we'll leave that as is. Uh, the landing page view we'll leave as that is, and the pixel, uh, yeah, you, it, I mean, if you've got a pixel installed, it's good to get data, so you can leave that ticked. And then you would then go confirm. So just got a bit glitchy there, but um, I've just sort of reconnected it. And um, when you come to connections, just exclude anyone who likes your page. Um, obviously, you don't want people to, uh, you don't want to waste money advertising to people who've already liked your page because that's what you're asking for in the first place. Um, and yeah, so we've we've done all that. We want all sexes. Um, languages you put in UK, that might have been what the glitch was, uh, or it might have been that. And then obviously, you edit to placements just to be the feed. Now, the feed is the, is the wall, is the main wall. So you would unselect all of these. Um, Facebook always puts automatic placements on, but you don't really want that, to be honest, um, because it's going to put it absolutely everywhere and you've got no control over um, where it's sending your traffic. And sometimes, you know, you'll pay different prices for different areas. So it's always good when you're doing advertising to select an area and then you can always select all the other areas in different ad sets so that you can actually see what's working. It's just another little tip for you. So obviously, then you come down here and then um, your daily budget... I'll set that at five. That might have been what the problem was. Okay, now that's fine. We're still getting 170 million reach, which is great. And then, as I said, we just leave all this as is, and then we press continue. That should work now. And then you've got your single image, um, and then we'll take that out. Now, I found a, a free stock image, and we know that that's going to pass the test with Facebook because Facebook's already approved it. Even though it's quite big on words, it's already... Uh, it's one of their images, so that's great. So we'll use that. And then in the text, we're just gonna put in, uh, it's, it's sort of pre-populated it from the page. So somebody's obviously selling fire doors. But um, I'm just gonna put in, Happy New Year, we love you all. Something like that, okay. So, and then you would, uh, you know, happy new year for the right column, but isn't, there actually isn't any right column, but I'm just going to put that in anyway. And then we'd leave the Facebook pixel and yeah, we're in. Okay. So, and that's your, all set up. And then obviously your ads will run and then you can go into your ads manager and actually check um, on the progress of that as that goes. And obviously you can run that for a few days. Um, but that's a really good ad hack and that's a really good way to get some social proof. Again, it's slightly controversial. Some people think it's kind of a good way to do it. Some people think you should grow your page likes more organically. So I'll let you decide on that. I'm not gonna sort of tell you how to do that. But again, obviously if you want to start advertising and you want to get a lower bid price with Facebook, then obviously you that is a good way to actually build that social proof with Facebook and with your audience. Um, um, and, and actually reduce the cost of your ads. So that's my ad tip for today. Have a very happy new year, everyone, and I'll speak to you soon.